Hi, Yarnabees. How are you? Oh, I've been having kind of a rough week. <laughs> well, not rough. Yesterday I had a migraine. Nah. Um, so that kind of botched my whole day. But uh, all week I've been doing the DoorDash um, with George and it's been going really well. So, <clears throat> yeah. But it's, you know, the in, out, in, out of the car. It's, you know, giving my, my back a little bit of problems. But, God, you look like you're up so high. Like, what's going on here? That's a little better. <laughs> I'm like... <laughs> um, yeah, so it's, uh, it's been really, really good. It took me a bit of time to push that dash button before I could actually go. But, oh... Whoops, dog's in here. She's trying to wreck the place. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I, I've been going with George just to ease my mind a little bit. And uh, I actually did my first couple of dashes by myself yesterday. Yeah, that was a bit scary. Um, <clears throat> but I did it. So uh, I'm feeling a little bit better today. So I'm probably going to be, George doesn't have any jobs today, I think. Uh, if he gets a job, then he'll go do the job. But, okay, hang on. Hold on one second. Really, you need to, like, go because you're getting tangled up in my cords here. Um, my head still hurts a little bit, but it's not anything like it was yesterday. Holy cow. <clears throat> so, yeah, so we'll probably go out. George is loving this DoorDash thing, right? He He's just like a kid. You know, he's like, have we got one yet? Have we got one yet? <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> oh, he just wants to go, go, go. So <clears throat> he told me, he says, if you don't feel well today, then you can stay home and I'll just go and do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway. Um, okay, so I have a few things to talk about today. First off, I would like to say a huge, huge congratulations to Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. She has a new grandbaby. Yes, the baby is finally here. Oh my goodness, I saw a picture of her. She's adorbs. Oh, she's so cute. Um, so I would like to congratulate her daughter Chantel and her son-in-law Lucas for bringing that beautiful baby girl into the world. Uh, if you want to check that out, uh, I, I don't know if Lisa's going to be coming up with a video or about it or not. She, she mentioned it, mentioned it in her last video. <laughs> She's so over the moon excited. <clears throat> so I'll leave her link down below uh, if you're part of her um, uh, Facebook then you'll have seen pictures but she's just so cute oh my goodness and so tiny so tiny oh, she's six pounds but oh my goodness she's, I forgot what the size babies what size is like they just look like they can fit in the palm of your hand so anyway so congratulations <laughs> I'm so jealous so anyway, um, okay, next thing is Rosalie from Yarn It Out is finally finished with the, the uh, Sisterhood of the Traveling Hook and it's going to soon be off to Lynetta Charm Grammy Crochet. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's finally making its way down into the States, so so exciting uh next up is oh good lord laura from mad mimi's crochet she is doing the next hashtag uh, our gifts of love for sharon at sharon's crochet corner for her wheelchair i damn near fell off my chair when i watched laura's video the gift, the grand prize gift that she's giving away. Whoa. Like, whoa. <laughs> she's giving away 
a $300 gift card from Amazon. Then she's giving away a $200 gift card from Amazon. And then there's a uh, $100 gift card from Amazon. $500 in gift cards from Laura alone. Wow. Holy cow. Yeah. <clears throat> you guys need to get involved in that. Um, I think she's, I can't remember how many uh, gifts she has. Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember. It, it keeps going up and up. But she's got a lot of prizes. Uh, I'm also getting involved in that. I've bought my tickets already. But I, in honor of Laura, I am giving away this cardigan. It looks kind of red in the camera, but it's not. It's burnt orange because Laura loves orange. So this cardigan is ooh, <clears throat> this one. Okay. It's so pretty. So that is my contribution to um to Laura's our gifts of love and that will be open worldwide so wow like I'm so excited about this one man like this is going to be crazy like she wants to get the donations up to three thousand dollars at least um there's a lot uh I mean the chair alone is upwards of thirty thousand dollars it was custom made for uh, Sharon and I tell you I watched Sharon's last video and she was just so oh there was a twinkle in her eye and she was laughing and she was just so happy um, so I think that this chair has really really helped her and the fact that you know we've all we're all opening up our our um, arms to to her and saying hey we love you. We want to help you pay for this wheelchair. Um, I think it's it's meant a tremendous amount to her. And she's just so happy. And it's so nice to see because for a long time she's been in so much pain. And uh, it's nice to see that it's alleviated a little bit. Um, so we love you, Sharon. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to leave all the links down below for that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I'll leave the link for, uh, for Laura's video. She explains where you go to buy your tickets. And um, I believe Mom Swift is still taking care of all of that for everybody, which is just wonderful. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, $5 for one ticket. $20 for five tickets, I believe. So go on over there, check it out, go buy your tickets and uh, help out on a good cause. Okay, so I jumped on the Tunisian bandwagon and I started a project and I ended up frogging it because I just, it was awful. So I thought, okay, well, I'm going to make a face cloth, right? <laughs> I did that much and I quit. Yeah. This is the Furls Tunisian hook. Nobody told me that pencil holders would have a problem with this. You can't pencil hold, that I know of, you can't pencil hold a Tunisian hook. You have to knife hold. I don't knife hold. <laughs> and this hook is so long that I just, I was having such a difficult time. It looks beautiful but I was having such a difficult time with it. I just took it and put it off to the side. Then I thought, well, what if I had a smaller Tunisian hook 
maybe then I can pencil hold. So I went on Amazon and I bought these. This is not a cheap set. Okay, this set cost me about $65. And it's, this has all the cables and all that kind of stuff. You still can't hold it like a pencil. You have to hold it. And if I'm wrong, let me know because I, I, I tried it and tried it. I, I tried this once. I took out the cable and I put it on to hold it like a pencil. The, the cables flying all over the place. And I just went, okay, you know what? I tried it. I am done. I am done. Th these hooks, they're not cheap. They're not cheap at all. And I really thought that I was going to give it a good go. And I'm just frustrated. I am really frustrated for knitters. These are perfect right that are used to this kind of stuff for knife holders it would be a piece of cake mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope i i can't i can't do it i just i'm so disappointed and it takes forever just like it does with knitting so <clears throat> I'm done. I am done. So I am going to gift these to a friend that I know loves doing Tunisian. Heartbreaking. So anyway, so but I tried it. I tried something new and it just didn't work out. And that's okay, I guess. I, I just, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, anywho. But, life goes on, right? Okay. Um, oh, I better do this before I forget. I forgot to do it on my last video, and I feel horrible about it. I did get two cards in the mail. Um, and this one was from Sylvia... Oh, they're both from Sylvia. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> this is from Sylvia. Uh, so Sylvia, I did get your cards. I am so sorry that I I totally blanked on it. I forgot to um, to show them. <clears throat> so I got an Easter card, and then I got a St. Patrick's Day card. Isn't that hilarious? So cute. So, so yes, I did get them. So thank you so, so much, Sylvia. That was so sweet of you. Oh, I've just had, I've been having so much going on, you know, and I just can't remember everything all at once. I can't even remember what I did like 10 minutes ago. <laughs> Is anybody else having that problem? I feel like I'm, I have early set Alzheimer's or something. Like I just... Oh my God. Like I, my memory is horrid, absolutely horrid. And everybody says, oh, that's part of menopause. I think I'm like over the hump of menopause though. Like I got menopause really early. I got it in my, started getting it in my thirties because I had a hysterectomy. So <clears throat> yeah. Um, dog coming through. Um, yeah, so anyways, I just, my memory is shot and it just, it really scares me sometimes, right? Because I think, how could I forget that? It was like a few minutes ago, right? It's like it just goes in and out. It doesn't stay, doesn't vacation, did vacation in my brain. It just, it just flies by. I'm just like, oh my goodness. George just looks at me like, are you okay? It's like, yes, I'm fine. I'm just having problems. <coughs> So anyway, okay. Da, 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 da. I think I did all that, did all that, did all that. Okay. I have an FO and I have a whip. This FO is going to be kind of hard to show you. Uh, I decided to do another Daphne Afghan, but this time I did it in 
oops, latte cakes. So I'll see if I can't get a picture of the whole thing. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous. It's just beautiful and it's so soft, so soft. So yeah, I love this. Isn't that pretty? Oh, love it. Uh, slippery, <laughs> but I love it. It's gorgeous. So I'll, if I can get a picture of it, um, when George gets back home, I'll, I'll put that in here. Okay, and now my whip, I'm doing, I forgot to write it down. Oh my God, really? I'll put it right here. Um, whoops. Here it is. It's going to be, it's going to be a big one. Um, I'm doing this with cookie yarn. And I'm telling you, I'm doing it with a size six hook. But I love cookie yarn. I really do. But I usually hold two together and I'm not doing that this time. So it feels so thin to me. Um, it's going to have great drape. But see, I'm, I haven't used, I've maybe used half, if that. So this is going to be really big. Um, and they say that cookie yarn is like a five. Yeah, they say it's a five. It is not a five. It is not a five. Okay, that's like a light four. And I'm not used to working with yarn that, that um, small. But it is going to be nice when it's done. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. It's only two different types of stitches. It's double crochet. Well, it's all double crochet. But it's uh, like the window stitch or whatever. Um, fillet, fillet stitch, I think it's called. And a granny stitch. The clusters. That's it. So, but it's taking a while and it's so, I like, I don't like using smaller yarn because it takes forever. It takes forever for me. Um, I worked with, the, with the latte. It takes a long time, right? It's not so bad with the latte because it's so fluffy. It looks like more, but it's the same thing, right? They say that it's one thing and it's really not. It's, um. I think they say it's a five two, but it's not. It's it's a four, a light four. But um, yeah, so those are my two whips. I feel like I've been crocheting like every day, all day, and I feel like I have nothing done. That's this is it. This is all I've had done. So and it's because I'm using such small yarn, which I'm trying to. I'm getting out of my comfort zone, I guess, and I'm trying new things and I'm kicking and screaming through the whole thing so yeah so that's it that's all I got for you guys uh the dashing I guess is taking up a lot of my time so yeah yeah uh trying to get any kind of project finished or get videos done is getting to be a little bit more difficult so yeah life right? <laughs> Life in the big city. <laughs> yeah, no, we're on an island. <laughs> so life is pretty slow. <laughs> so, Anyways, I'm going to go, guys. I love you all. I probably forgot to tell you something. I'm sure. I'm sure. But uh, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> okay? I love you all. I'll talk to you later. Hey, okay, bye.